Hi guys, my name is John Mendesandra and today I will be demonstrating on how to paint using acrylic and today's tutorial guys is all about um, painting the light and shadows so I'll be demonstrating to you on how, how I make my own shadows and, and highlights okay guys so I will introduce to you first my materials I have here that paint palette I have the titanium white um, the tallow blue, the brilliant red, the medium yellow, and the lamp black. So you always, all, always observe guys that I am always using unlimited colors in my palette because I want you to learn how to mix and get the desired colors you want. Um, this is my canvas guys. I I, I prime it with gesso with uh, free cuts. And I have the water guys to thin the paint and I have some three types of brushes but I'll just do this demonstration guys. So it doesn't matter what brushes you're gonna use. I will recommend using the flat brushes. Okay, so I'm gonna start now. I'm gonna dip the tip of my brush first to make it a little wet. Then you just okay. I'm gonna do first the the black and white colors before I'm gonna do the colored colored um objects. Okay, I'm, I think I'm going to mix first with the gray color guys here and white so of course guys um, gray and white I don't know black and white to make it gray okay so we have now the gray so I'm going to do first um, circle Okay, so need to make the color solid first. So I'll just also I will also teach you how to blend the colors, guys. My own way. Okay. So it doesn't matter, guys. If it's um, I'm gonna make it bigger. So I'm going to mix again for the gray color. This is how gonna uh, how we're gonna mix the some circles. I I'm gonna make some circle color or circle object guys. Like uh, painting um, a ball or some round rocks or stone. Okay, so in my um on my technique, guys, I'm gonna let it dry first and gonna add details later. I know I'm going to add some. So first, guys, this one I'm going to demonstrate on how to add values on your color, the light and shade. Or from light to dark color, how to mix it and apply it on your painting. So I'm gonna mix another gray color, guys. So I'm going to put it here. So I'm um. Objects like a um, tree trunk or whatever okay yeah and now i'm going to add some um, blue circle so i'm going to clean the brush first I'm gonna let it dry first guys before gonna add the details 
I'm going to add the blue circle, so I'm going to use this, this uh, blue, yellow blue with white. So I'm going to put it here. So just make the circle solid. Okay. I think this one is already dry. And I'm going to start adding in some glitters here. But maybe I'm going to do first another um think here I need to make, uh, add some cube or triangle triangular in shape so I think I'm going to mix for I think we're gonna make it red so I'm gonna use the pure red guys here okay So, in on painting, um, using acrylic, guys, I always I always do first the background color before adding the highlights, like what I'm doing here. Okay. Okay, that's it. And now I, I think I'm going to start adding some some details. I'm going to start the demonstration now. So I'm going to clean my brush first. Okay, and I'm going to do this first, guys, the gray one. So. So I'm going to add first the, the highlights. So I'm I will I will assume guys that my my sun is coming from the left from the left side here. And I'm going to mix for a lighter color guys for the highlights. So the color guys for the highlights should be lighter than this color. So I'm going to mix for that one. So I'm going to use the white and with a little amount of black to make it not so gray, not so dark gray. So I think this one is enough. And of course guys, we're gonna put all the light color on the left side because that's where our sun coming from or where yeah. And I'm going to assume that the sun is come as the upper left. So it should be that way. Okay, then we're gonna blend a little in the on the edge, guys, of this um, of this um, part here on the edge of the where the, the highlights and the shadows meet. So just make it um, just blend it a little. You can use your fingers, guys, to blend. And don't uh, expect to be uh, to have a smooth blending, guys, using acrylic. Because you know, acrylic dries fast and it's hard to make it blend. So I think I'm going to make it lighter, this part. So we just add white, guys, here and mix it to the existing gray color. And just add uh, highlights. Okay. 
Okay, so that's it guys. That's, uh, that's how you now uh, paint uh, using acrylic. And in oil painting guys, it's a different me uh, method. But you can also use this kind of method. If the paint is always dry or the, the oil paint is already dry. Okay, I'm going to make it lighter. So um, I just add white guys to make it lighter. Okay, and then some white guys to add the highlights. It's uh, some kind of a reflection, guys. From, from the sun, of if the object is a little shiny or yeah, shiny, and of course you, you need to expect some reflection like that. Okay, now I'm going to add some a little amount, a little um, diffuse reflection on the right side, guys, in this part. So if it will be applicable, guys, if the if there's an object here on the right side that is very shiny and and it reflects light coming from the sun here then you need to expect some um, reflection on the right side here a little reflection or I call it from science um, diffuse reflection or bouncing light so it should be a little darker guys lighter than the this part so it should be to lighter also depending on the how the how shiny the object where it strikes on the back of the object okay so it also depends on how it reflects the light guys so i just add it here okay you can blend using your fingers okay Okay, that's it. So you, you now observe that there's a, a little light on the right side. So that's how you're gonna add some some diffuse reflection. I call it diffuse reflection, guys. I I read it in science. And I'm going to add the shadows now here. So I'm going to make it darker, guys. Make sure it's darker. And also, it always depends on on what color of the object, guys, where your main object is lying. So if the object is red so it, be, it, be, it, it will become a little brownish the shadow will become brownish or if yellow it will become a dark yellow or blue dark blue but this one is light guys so we need to add some um, darker um, gray color so I'm going to mix for a darker gray color guys so just add dark black to make it darker now we just have to extend the uh, the color here yeah okay actually guys you need to observe your surroundings if you are um, try to observe anything how the light strikes on an object or what 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 will what would how what would happen so observe what color it will become okay so you, are, you, are, you have now a, a 3d ball so that's how you make a realistic object guys painting using acrylic okay now we, we're gonna proceed to this one also guys the same technique um this one guys will apply when you paint um like tree trunks or other object that's um long object um body uh, object would have long body so it's a, you can apply that and I'm going to assume that my light is coming from the left. So, of course, you're gonna add the light here. The white color, the light, light, light color here. Or lighter gray color. Then, you're just gonna blend it. I'm, I am using the dry brush technique, guys. So, I'm not adding lots of water or I'm not adding any water in uh, the paint. To make it blend a little smoke. Okay. And I'm going to make it lighter. I'm adding white to it. Just add white, guys, to make it lighter. Then just have just have to blend it here. 
Okay, that's it. Now I'm going to make um, darker colors to have some reflected light coming from the left side. Okay, that's it. So make it um don't don't overdo it. Then gonna add the the, the shadow. So make it darker. Okay, so the, the, light, the our light is coming from the left. Oh, the right side, I'm sorry. So, I'm, I'm gonna make it obvious, guys. So, I'm gonna make it the left part lighter. So, I'm gonna make it lighter. Just add white to it. More white. You can blend using your fingers. Okay. I'm gonna blend it um, smoothly. Okay, that's it. Okay, um, I'm going to I'm going to explain also, guys, what's the difference between the the shadow and the um, the reflection. So this one is the shadow, guys. Here you see here, and the reflection is um going to break. If the object on the floor is um very shiny. The light bounce um, perfectly, guys, and it will create some reflection. So this will be the reflection here. So it's just like a mirror, guys. When you watch yourself in, on the on a mirror, then you're gonna see your reflection. Okay, so this will be the reflection. If an object is shiny, so this, I'm going to make it lighter here. Okay, so this will be a reflection, guys, and this will be this is uh, the shadow. So I heard some um, before, guys, that they're commenting on my um, on my on my painting that my shadow is um, is um, incorrect. So they are referring they are referring about the reflection so I think um, uh, this one is a uh, best way to how to explain it okay so again guys this is the shadow and this is the reflection this, uh, this is the reflection okay and I'm gonna proceed with the colored one the blue the ball uh, the circle with the with the blue color so I'm going to assume guys that the light is um, something like a yellowish in color here and there is something light a reddish light coming from the right side so so I will going to explain to you or demonstrate to you what I'm, I will do for that kind of situation oh sorry <laughs> okay and since I'm going to add the light yellowish shadow on the left side. So I uh, know not the yellowish shadow, guys, but the yellowish light or highlights on the left side of the ball here. So since it's really yellowish, so I'm going to add a little amount of yellow to my blue color. See, um, instead of just adding the the light blue here um, directly, I'm going to add a little amount of yellow. To make it a little yellowish to to make it um looks like there's a yellow light striking to it okay so i'm gonna add a little amount of yellow here and of course the blue color so i'm going to make it a little um not green guys but uh, blue green and white of course because we are adding the highlight so make it lighter okay so we have now the um, bluish um, bluish what call this um, bluish uh, a blue green oh yeah blue green so it's a little yellowish in the bluish yeah a little yellowish so again guys follow the step 
what I what we, we did before here uh, before here so add it on the left side so you have now a little bluish green color um, light so I think uh, this brush is kind of um, destroy I'm gonna use this another brush this one actually the, the brush has the same um, width I'm gonna mix again for the blue co green color so blue and of course yellow and white don't overdo it guys make sure it's a uh, blue green not a uh, green or yellow green do not add um, um, they call this uh, do not add more yellow I think this brush is a little smooth okay that's it and now I'm going to make more highlights so I'm going to add just I'm going to add white um, to make it lighter okay and another white guys to make it more light or lighter or lightest <laughs> i don't know what, how they're gonna make it that in english okay so i just have to blend it well here well here okay so we have now a blue or yellowish blue or blue green um highlights then i'm not going to add some um like this guys i'm gonna make this ball um a little opaque in color okay so you you now see guys that the that the highlights um change into a little um green because our light is um a little um yellowish so that's gonna happen guys and we're gonna add some reflection guys or some lights um read this light coming from the right side here i'm gonna add it here so this painting or this object guys has has two sorts of lights which is um which are the yellow and the red color okay so we're gonna paint your brush before we're gonna apply so i'm gonna use of course the red and I'm going to mix it with blue to make some violet or purple color so it will become a little purple guys when some reddish light strike from the right side of this blue um, object and to add a little blue to make it okay so since it's a uh, highlights guys you just add to just have to add more white okay so gonna apply it here in the back side okay now we're gonna add more red to make it um red violet so something like that I'm going to blend using my fingers okay so we have now um 
an object with, with which has two two source of light which which are yellow and red so we, we, we can now distinguish which one is yellow guys and which one is the red light so here is we see that the color become a little um uh, violet or purple and this one become greenish so it actually changed guys but when the object is becomes a really shiny um the light also or the color will um, actually change a little and i'm going to make it um, solid guys so i'm going to retouch here to add more blue color Okay guys, and I'm going to add the shadow. I'm going to add the shadow here. And I think I'm going to since we have the light coming from the from the uh, right side or the red light coming from the right side, I'm going to make also the shadow a little purple. No, uh, not purple guys, but with this so I'm going to assume that my uh, the this object is on top of the white um, table, so it will become um, the color become brownish. So I'm going to add the black and the red guys. Okay, and white first. Okay, and here. Okay. Okay, that's it. So, water. Okay, so you observe, guys, that my shadow is a little uh, brownish. And I'm going to add more um, color here. Reddish color. So, since we have light coming from the left, so I'm going to make it this part lighter. So um, I, I just add red, guys, to the existing um, brown color and more white okay i think i'm going to add more white Okay, so we, we, are, we now see the lighter color of our shadow, guys. Because of we have the light coming from the left, with this light coming from the left, and our shadow auto automatically, automatically become lighter. And I'm going to add more highlights here. Some reflection, lighter reflection. Okay, that's it. yeah that's it guys okay so i'm going to make the last one which it's the red pyramid okay so i'm going to i'm going to wash the brush clean the brush and this one guys we have a, a normal light guys like white light and of course the the color will become a little um um what do you call this um pink because it's red so not too much white guys too much uh, white 
just enough a little amount of white okay so we have now here the pink not too much um, what pink guys and white okay so we have now the lighter part here and we're gonna add the dark part here so um, of course the lights coming from the left the white light so I'm going to make this part uh, darker guys like maroon or uh, reddish brown so of course I'm gonna use the the red and of course black no, that's too much I'm going to add more red so make it a little um, brown guys or reddish brown or maroon and apply it here Okay. To add more red, if it feels hard, guys, you can you need to add a little water to make it wet, so that it will flow uh, the freely into the canvas. Okay. Okay, so we can now distinguish where it, where is our light and where is the shadows. Okay, so and the last part will be adding the uh, the shadings or the shadow here, the casting shadow. So I'm gonna use the black, of course, and white again, and mix it with to make it gray okay now of course our Shadow guys should be triangle of Okay, that's it So we have now I think I am done with my simple um, Demonstration guys on how to create um, light and shadow in your painting So that's it guys So I want to say thank you so much for watching this video today. I hope you learned something uh, from my tutorial and apply it on your own um, to make your own realistic paintings okay guys thank you very much and please hit like and comment and subscribe for more videos in the future and if you wanna play this follow everything i did on this video once again guys thank you very much and have a nice day